Hello, everyone. Welcome to Huawei Cloud 2021 New Year Cloud Festival live broadcast. We have prepared a set of wonderful Technic Fusion for you in this afternoon. Today, we are going to launch Huawei Cloud 2021 New Year Cloud Festival together with Huawei Cloud SME Support Program. We have some exciting gifts for you. Everyone who register and log into this live broadcast to complete our questionnaires in the chat room will gain the chance to win Huawei FreeBuds Pro or Huawei Watch Fit. Stay till the end for the lucky draw sessions. Please welcome our first speaker, Mr. Jing Wei, Vice President of Solutions, Huawei Cloud Asia Pacific, to launch the Huawei Cloud SME support program. Over to you, Mr. Jin. Hello everyone, my name is Jin Hui from Huawei Cloud APAC region. Today is my honor to unveil Huawei Cloud 2021 New Year Cloud Festival. As we know, the pandemic has forced us to keep social distance in the past year, but the digital technology is always keeping us together. In year 2021, many countries and regions are still combating COVID-19. I would like to express my gratitude to all the frontline liners in the world. On the 2nd of March, WHO has announced that they predicted COVID-19 will be terminated by the end of next year. During this period, how can we effectively prepare for the future and how can Huawei Cloud help SME customers to catch new opportunities as they gradually recover from this crisis? This is our top concern. For example, Huawei Cloud healthcare platform speeds up patient CT screening with AI technology which significantly reduce the time of diagnosis. It's our vision to build a better connected and intelligent world with such cutting-edge technology. In order to further support the society recovery of APAC region, we are here launching the SME support program with our cloud solutions in six scenarios, including financial services, e-commerce, gaming, IoT, application development, and enterprise application. We are expecting that the SME customers would join this program. Huawei Cloud and our partners will provide special offers and technical consulting to meet your demands. Thanks for joining us. Please explore in Huawei Cloud 2021 New Year Cloud Festival. Thank you for Mr. Jinghui and hope his words has inspired us not only in the SME business, also in daily life. And now, we are stepping into the next sessions. Before that, please let me repeat the message of our lucky draw. Everyone watching in this live broadcast could register our global account and complete the questionnaires in the chat room. We'll have the chance to win Huawei FreeBud Pros and Huawei Watch Fit. We are going to do the lucky draw at the end of this live broadcast. Well, the second session is going to be our Technic Fusions. Let's hear from KFT and Wang Feng Yu, our Solutions Director focused on Enterprise Cloud Business with lots of experience. Okay, thank you very much. Um, take this opportunity, um, go mm -hmm. for me, we share uh, with everybody our Huawei solution in different uh, scenarios mm -hmm. like uh, banking, Mm -hmm. uh, gaming, uh, application development, mm -hmm. uh, e-commerce, uh, what else? Uh, enterprise architect. Uh, IoT. And the IoT, yeah, uh, that's okay. right. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's uh, start uh, for the uh, first uh, industry, banking finance. Okay. So mm -hmm. basically, um, bank customer, they um, 
they need the basic the, the services is a digital currency, mm -hmm. di digital banking, mm -hmm. right? They have for um, uh, security services. Yeah, so, that's right. Yeah, yeah. But basically, nowadays they are being challenged by fintech, and they have to get themselves move into AI, move into blockchain, so that they can compete better with the yeah. uh, fintech. So, uh, blockchain yeah. is a requirement, right? Yeah, that's yeah. right. Mm -hmm. So, go for you know, bank. Mm -hmm. uh, what they are valuable mm -hmm. asset for yeah. bank? Valuable. The most valuable asset is basically the customer. Yes, and they keep the customer correct. Mm. so customer data is very important mm -hmm. so keep the customer data in uh, uh store in privacy that is a mm -hmm. very important uh services mm -hmm. from the bank uh customer right yeah so yeah um mm. in terms of the customer uh requirement so mm -hmm. this uh, uh customer is a different uh, uh with the other customer so mm -hmm. they are more uh, like a uh, concern about the performance yeah right? Mm -hmm. uh, then so, auto-scaling? Yeah. Auto-scaling and also they have to be uh, isolated yeah. and have dedicated environment that have a uh, high performance uh, like auto-scaling to a higher performance and uh, better security yeah. from there yeah. Based on my understanding, so mm -hmm. these uh, uh, bank customers, mm -hmm. they, uh, they have uh, many sensitive data like uh, yes. customer information, right? That's right So that data uh, cannot be uh, stored into public cloud Exactly. So what kind of <laughs> solution they basically they need? Yeah, those they become like uh, four level of different security, mm. like data security, cyber uh, security, and then host security and network security. These are the area that they need. And and we I think we have a very good uh, comprehensive of security product for them. Yeah. Yeah. So in uh, in bank uh, uh, to cater for uh, bank such a customer, mm -hmm. uh, actually we have uh, this uh, solution called hybrid cloud. Oh, so yeah. what the uh, hybrid cloud? Mm -hmm. Got one private cloud, then mm -hmm. we also have mm -hmm. public cloud. Another right? public cloud, yeah. yeah. So some uh, sensitive data mm -hmm. store in uh, private cloud, some not sensitive data, we can move into the public cloud. Yeah, in fact, this hybrid cloud solution is basically the best uh, brief of both worlds for, for banking because uh, one, like what you say, they can take care of the security in on-premise, which is in the private cloud. And at the same time, if, want they, if let's say they want to compete with uh, FinTech, they can move the AI, the big data, then uh, run it in the uh, public cloud. In this case, they have both everything, the capability in the IT environment. So, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, actually, uh, you know, Huawei mm -hmm. Hybrid Cloud uh, is uh, quite competitive with our competitor. Mm -hmm. In terms of this, uh, uh, because uh, the public cloud, we have 200 plus uh, services. Mm -hmm. Then for the uh, private cloud, we also have similar services, uh, at least uh, uh, 70 plus, right? Yeah, 80, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, it, uh, if choose a Huawei private cloud, at mm -hmm. the same time, the public cloud, yeah. there is a... Uh, um, uh, the services we smooth move from the private cloud and the public cloud, right? Exactly, they can yeah. burst from private cloud to public yeah. cloud. Yeah. So that like uh, um, the uh, basic um, services mm -hmm. like um, mm -hmm. uh, you, you know ECS, mm -hmm. right? EBS, yeah. Uh, then uh, storage, okay, yeah. storage or fast system, right? Mm -hmm. Then of course. Mm -hmm. uh, we also can provide the advanced uh, uh, cloud services yeah. mm. Mm -hmm. from the uh, public cloud to complement the, uh, the private cloud yeah. because private cloud generally just to run their core system, sensitive data and then the public cloud can position as the, uh, the intelligence uh, uh, cloud that can basically process more of the uh, like, uh, industry 4.0 kind of like technology. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, like a bank customer, actually, the uh, the um, the customer customers customer is very important. So, <laughs> such yeah. a data is mm. valuable. So, how to retrieve this uh, uh, usable information from uh, the uh, the data sitting into the database mm -hmm. for them is very important. Yeah. So that why we also have a similar solution like a big data. Mm -hmm. So they can retrieve the uh uh uh. uh very important uh, information. Yeah. So as an insight for mm -hmm. them to do the um, marketing, mm -hmm. for them to do the, um, you know, um, uh, to create the uh, customer profile. Yes. So yeah. they, uh, the intelligent AI mm -hmm. functions is required. 
yeah. they also have to provide such a services. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and these services can then continually, continuously to be uh, packaged as an API and then expose it through the API gateway provided by our public cloud. And then that basically can have other ecosystem, uh, maybe the retail to have the payment system, have the uh, the insurance uh, system to be integrated easily without compromising the security. Yeah. Yeah. So during the COVID uh, nineteen, um, customer uh, they choose uh, um, uh, work from home. Mm. So yeah. uh, they may need some uh, services like uh, you know. Um, web conference right yeah um, then um, this uh, um, uh, such a services can we also have the this platform mm -hmm. if they then they uh, have the uh, in-house deployment mm -hmm. so that our uh, model art is yes. a development yeah. um, platform also suitable for them Yes, right. exactly and plus uh, model art basically is our one-stop workshop uh, solutions that we can provide to uh, banking with those people that without any AI experience or with uh, certain limited AI experience and would like to leverage more of our uh, AI capabilities that we already develop yeah. so that they can straight away uh, transform the banking business right without reinventing the view from the AI that we already provided. Yeah, yeah. sure. Mm. So um, in short, mm. um, Huawei have for this uh, hybrid cloud solution, we yep. have for uh, many services, many like services. customer mm. to subscribe. Right? Yeah. So uh, in summary, mm -hmm. in short, so our solution maybe is a simple, reliable, yeah. and yes, faster. and faster. <laughs> yeah. So bottom line, we are helping them to uh, cut costs, innovate better, so that they can compete with fintech. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's Thank it. You. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. So next uh, we'll be sharing uh, Huawei um, uh, gaming industry uh, solution. So for gaming um, uh, type of customer, so mm. the uh, basically they develop the game, right? Mm, yeah. Then deploy the game. Exactly. Then launch the publish the game for the consumer to play. Yeah. Yeah. Then for such a customer, mm. actually the data for them is very important. Otherwise, they develop the game, mm -hmm. push to some player to to uh, to subscribe. Mm -hmm. Then they uh, they cannot um, uh, intelligent enough mm -hmm. to uh, cater for such a customer. So exactly. cannot retain their customer for for long term, right? Yeah. And yeah. plus, uh, user privacy protection is also a very very important thing yeah yeah for the uh, the gaming industry then for for such a customer the um, um, uh, gaming industry mm -hmm. so the connection because it's a mass connection connect to the uh, game server so they, they need the network speed right mm. the performance also mm. is very important some uh, times uh, um, this uh, um, uh, CDN mm -hmm. the yep. customer experience yeah so for them that's uh, 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 basic requirements exactly. from them. Yeah, so come to the pain point of gaming industry, right? Basically, you are right. The bandwidth is basically a very, very serious uh, issue for them. They have to like subscribe with the right bandwidth. If let's say it's uh, too low, the user experience is not good. Too high, then they might be in, uh, suffer a very high operation cost. And that's why it's like they have other pain point, like also about how about the security to keep pace with the uh, piracy production and also when they come up with the new gaming they also very uh, they, they are into a dilemma that they are how to size uh, how many consumers going to play this game and how many they are not playing this game so going to the cloud probably is the answer maybe going to the cloud right what kind of product that we can use to help the gaming industry yeah so uh, like uh, such a customer actually they are game development uh, company mm -hmm. so they focus on the game rather yep. than infrastructure setup I see so mm -hmm. uh, the gaming uh, customer actually is uh, most suitable for them is move everything going to the public cloud I see so yeah. they no need to set up the infrastructure no, no need to uh, uh, set up the uh, basic platform Mm -hmm. So in Huawei uh, uh, cloud solution, mm -hmm. we have uh, many services mm -hmm. for them to subscribe. So yeah. they, they subscribe the services, they use this uh, infrastructure as a service. On top, they just uh, focus on their uh, own software development. Yeah. Right? So this first point is very valid is because um, 
uh, gaming industry is really like a cloud native kind of like uh, industry so they would have all their uh, applications their gaming algorithm all starting from the uh, depths of environment that Huawei or have the depths yeah. of environment to help them to prevent them is uh, starting mm. uh, uh, from the scratch yeah yeah mm. so we have the uh, pla platform as a service for mm -hmm. them to uh, deploy develop deploy mm -hmm. then on in operation yeah. right mm -hmm. so such a customer like uh, mm -hmm. for example we have for devops yep. uh, platform mm -hmm. we have for model us for them to subscribe of mm -hmm. course the basic services they, they are needed mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. like uh, uh, computing storage yep. there's uh, we can provide at the same time mm -hmm. they need the database Right? Exactly. For database service. Oh, I see. I yeah. see. I see. Yeah. So in this case, like we provide like one stop shop uh, platform for them to develop the application. At the same time, would have the uh, the infrastructure, the platform infrastructure to support like database, like AI, particularly about AI. Gaming industry need to understand their customer better and then do uh, smart, intelligent recommendation from oh, there. Right. Yeah. Yeah, mm, rather than they, they, they build the platform on top, they, they need to develop this, uh, the platform, then they starting to use their tools. So we have a DevOps tools, yeah. we have a model art, we have yeah. a big data, we also have a database for them to subscribe, right? Yeah. yeah. And then from uh, out of all this platform, we are not forgetting about the security also. Mm. And the security so again. So customers don't need to take care uh, uh, whether it is a platform is secure or not, right? Exactly. Yeah. From the system, from the data, data encryption perspective, or from the network perspective. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Another very important, you know, mm. Huawei is a network, um, very strong company. Mm -hmm. So our CDN actually can uh, help them to um, uh, make the customer experience mm -hmm. more smooth because mm -hmm. we have a different CDN, the uh, customer from all over the world, they can um, use a different CDN to yeah. connect to the, the cloud. This, so this they is a be better performance, right? Yeah, yeah. This, that's basically a very important uh, criteria because it's like when you play a game, if let's say the game slow by one or two seconds, you will probably do want to play already. Yeah, yeah. So the CDN is really, really yeah, important. Uh, uh, cooperation, collaboration yeah. between the players, <laughs> right? Yeah, that's right. So in, mm -hmm. In summary, mm -hmm. in uh, Huawei solution mm -hmm. to help them to provide this uh, scalable, mm -hmm. reliable, yep. right? Then even faster deploy uh, environment. For yeah, them. that's right. And uh, another important point here is basically is as long as they move to a Huawei cloud environment and uh, with uh, maybe with a business model that they're not very sure whether they will be take up or not, we have all everything that's go by per use basis on demand yeah. basis that can protect Just subscribe go ahead yeah simple yeah yep that's it that's it yep thank you for next uh, application development uh, there is a very special um, unique uh, industry uh, basically it's a software development company so uh, such a company they um, their business is very simple application development, mm -hmm. application deployment, then mm -hmm. uh, application testing. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, the customer requirement actually is uh, quite basic, mm -hmm. but uh, for them, uh, certain uh, 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 resources mm -hmm. for them is uh, critical. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, like um, the uh, different time, they, they have a different customer to come in. So mm -hmm. cannot um, predict how many customers concurrency for them is more important. Yes, that's uh, right. And uh, the pain point for uh, application development, right, is basically they, most of the time uh, during the project uh, executions, right, or starting of a new projects, right, they need to like provision like what's the hardware that is required. And those are really not project, not their core business. And at the same time, they have to do the sizing, like what you are saying, like how much is the uh, database, how much is the uh, you know storage that needed. And plus, another thing is basically right. Um, they cannot really have really uh, good handshake with the rest of the other developers because uh, nowadays the applications are very complex. You cannot be just developed by one single developer. And therefore, the pen point of like hardware integrations and uh, collaborations among the yeah. uh, developers become a really really uh, uh, have uh, suffer pen point to them. 
And the other thing is also uh, from the versioning of the applications, that is also another dimension of uh, pain points coming from application development perspective. If I was a software development company, mm -hmm. so um, before I have no choice, mm -hmm. I need to find the data center to purchase my own hardware, install the operating system to build the platform. Yeah. But then now, mm -hmm. Customer <laughs> can choose the, the cloud. The, the job it be, become easy yeah. because they just choose the cloud, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, customer pain mm -hmm. point. Uh, mm -hmm. We have prepared for them mm -hmm. because we have a uh, public cloud uh, provide yeah. two hundred plus services for them to subscribe. Yeah, they just uh, subscribe. They use it on top this uh, platform. They just uh, uh, choose or uh, uh, the past platform yeah. as a services. Exactly. On top infrastructure as a services, right? Exactly. And the important thing about application development is basically we have the development cloud, that's up cloud, that basically can support the entire software development life cycle, uh, coming from uh, the project requirement gathering perspective all the way to uh, analyst and to architecture, and from architecture go to testing. And testing is a very important part because you need a lot of hardware to do the performance testing, and this part we are taking care. E exactly. Yeah. So we, while we have them to mm. release from maintenance the mm. uh, bottom line the infrastructure. They exactly. just uh, focus on that. Uh, they are uh, core business. Just yeah. develop the code, 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 code. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> so do remember this, uh, uh, like uh, application development company. Mm -hmm. We have uh, many choice for um, for for you to choose. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. uh, our DevOps uh, big data. Mm -hmm. We also have a database, the mm -hmm. the uh, platform for them to choose. Mm -hmm. Of course, they, you, you know the security is more important for them, right? Exactly. We provide the end-to-end -end security solution. Oh, that's good. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because for managing a team and handle every developer user access, whether this developer can see the other developer code or their data, vice versa, right? That, that is a big thing by itself already. Yeah. So what you're saying, we provide the security as well. Customer data is very important. Mm -hmm. So first of all, we need to protect the customer data. Mm -hmm. Secondly, we also can use the customer data to help the developer mm -hmm. to uh, understand uh, better for the customer so that they can uh, fine tune the uh, uh, the code to attract more and more customer. So AI capability, mm -hmm. the big data, data warehouse, we also can have them. Right? Oh, that's good. Then that means that we are providing a very safe environment, right, for the developer to build their AI models. And then because AI models need a lot of sensitive customer data, and we are protecting this data, and that's why they have a safe environment to train their AI model uh, yeah. become better and better. Correct. Okay. Yeah. So in summary, mm -hmm. um, um, our solution actually is a scalable, reliable, mm -hmm. and uh, native. Huawei Cloud is a native cloud solution, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that is basically the key things. It has to be a uh, cloud native. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So next, uh, we will share uh, e-commerce industry, how uh, Huawei Cloud can help uh, customer to do the cloud transformation. Mm -hmm. E-commerce uh, customer uh, a little bit uh, similar to the, um, you know, uh, mm -hmm. application development. Mm -hmm. But uh, the different yeah. thing is that they, they are focused on the online shopping. Yes. Right? Yeah. So the, uh, the data is uh, to them very important, how to intelligent to recommend to customer. Mm -hmm. Like uh, for example, I go to Taobao yeah. to buy something. First time I browse the um, the category, the items. Mm -hmm. Next time I just open, I don't know. Suddenly, so much information pull pull for me. Uh -huh. So and that's very important. There's uh, uh, basic capability uh, for them to uh, to do right. To do yes. So they are not only develop; they also can do the uh, 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 platform on. Um, uh, operation. Yes, actually, in fact, about uh, e-commerce is, is very, really important. It's transforming the retail uh, industry entirely because right now retail, they have the, the shop and we are in COVID-19. We cannot go to face-to-face uh, yeah. -face contacts and all that. And e-commerce providing another channel for them to basically uh, continue to run their business without any problem. And plus what you just mentioned, right? It's like when you go to certain e-shop and suddenly certain recommendations go to you and those recommendations appear to be really 
relevant to you? So, mm -hmm. so uh, valuable uh, customer data. Mm -hmm. But of course, uh, the how to protect the customer data is uh, become a key concern from uh, e-commerce customer, right? Yeah. So they need the platform should be uh, quite secure. Exactly, mm -hmm. so, and uh, that's why uh, coming from the uh, e-commerce uh, industry itself, right? They have a couple of pain point, and security appear to be one of the top. Uh, because compromising the security, they will be easily get the damage coming from the uh, government easily to, to, to get them to like uh, go into a brain cup stage. <laughs> yeah, you, actually, uh, you, uh, go for it. Have yeah. you been imagined, mm -hmm. you know, uh, e-commerce customer is uh, not their user, their uh, infrastructure mm -hmm. uh, all the way. Mm -hmm. Oh? Like uh, yeah. Black Friday, yeah. uh, double 11. Oh, no, okay. No, no, one uh, so Let's just see. only one day, they need so much resources. Exactly. But if they build their own data center to set up the platform, just the kitchen for one day, they need to protect many resources. So yep. auto scaling on, mm. uh, on demand um, uh, provisioning for them is very critical. Exactly. Then exactly. Uh, maybe uh, November, uh, November 12th, yeah. they just uh, turn off the resources. Mm -hmm. For them, it, they, such resources is it's no longer needed. Yes. I see, I see. Yeah. So yeah, scaling of the IT basically is a pain of the ass for, for them because it's like sometimes like in this period, there's a lot of people that come in like uh, no, double November uh, 11. Yeah. yeah. That is basically a very, very good use case that yeah. uh, cloud so can like solve the problem. Uh, you, you know, in, in the past, they have no choice mm. they must to build their old data center to set up the uh, virtual environment to run the application. Mm. Then now, the job become easy. So just go for a public cloud like uh, Huawei. Yeah. Not only we give the basic services like uh -huh. uh, uh, ECS, uh, OBS mm -hmm. for uh, for basic requirement, we yeah. also cater for such customer like uh, we have big data. Oh yeah. Yeah. We have for model to help them. We mm -hmm. have for DevOps. They uh -huh. can use also AI enabled. I see. Okay, yeah. How AI enabled? Yeah. We have the Huawei is a, a hardware company. Mm -hmm. We have for the server, we have the chips. I so see. just a uh, uh, cater for different customers, we prepare the different resources for customers to mm -hmm. uh, subscribe. That's, that's a very good one. And uh, we are basically uh, transiting the uh, e-commerce owner from uh, just taking care of the IT to innovating new uh, business model using big data, using AI that basically can understand their customer better, understand their product better, and then do a match into that. Yeah. And the uh, so offer AI recommendation. The big data, the data warehouse, they are uh, basically require uh, uh, resources from us, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, of course, um, you know, customer data is very important. They need to back up. Yeah, Now exactly. the backup is uh, so much easier, right? Mm -hmm. You just uh, subscribe the backup, then just uh, go. The data safe in the very secure place, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. So that's in fact basically uh, from backup perspective, we have the data lifecycle management that basically can uh, manage from the uh, hot data to cold data to archive data to deleted <laughs> data. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So in summary, we uh, provide the solution is uh, secure, mm -hmm. reliable, right? Yeah. Of course, the resources are elastic. Exactly. Based on uh, your demand, mm -hmm. we just uh, do provisioning by yourself. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Next, we will share yeah. uh, IoT solution. Uh, very interesting topic, IoT. Yes. So in past uh, 20 years, we're talking about internet era. In next uh, 20 years, uh, starting from just this year, mm -hmm. 20, 21. 20, so yeah. we can count in the another 20 years mm. is the IoT era. IoT mm -hmm. will uh, have different uh, requirements. Mm -hmm. What kind of requirement? Yes, that's what right. What the difference yeah. between the internet era and the IoT era? Yes, internet era basically we are talking about connecting uh, all the computes together. But IoT we are, we are connecting the internet with the rest of the other things in, in our yeah. real life. Yeah. In summary, yeah. internet era, people connection. Yeah. IoT era, 
device connection. Device connectivity. Yeah. Oh, okay. So mm -hmm. the customer have a different mm -hmm. requirement, right? Mm -hmm. In terms, this uh, AI yeah. we need to put onto the table. Yeah. All the develop is not just the uh, one wearable device mm -hmm. connect to one platform. Mm -hmm. So simple, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. They need to manage integration. Mm -hmm. They uh, first of all, they mm -hmm. they need the connection. Yeah. Next time, they need the information collection. Correct. Then after collect the data, mm -hmm. they need to do the big data analysis because mm -hmm. all this uh, uh, intelligent they need to teach the machine, let the machine to learning by itself. Yes, exactly. And in fact, that is about one of the key thing about industrialization 4.0. Uh, it's basically very simple. Once one one principle, you can only improve on things that, that you can measure. If you cannot measure, you cannot improve. And that's why IoT makes everything connected, everything measurables. And that's part basically we channel the measurement back to the what you say, big data. Mm. And from there we do a lot of calculations, uh, map reduce and from there and derive the, uh, the the relevant AI application and do the recommendation and improvement yeah. from there. So AI recently two years mm -hmm. become very hot. Mm -hmm. This is because uh, we preparing for the next uh, 10 to 20 years. Mm -hmm. We welcome to the IoT era. Mm -hmm. So this uh, AI is a basic uh, requirements for mm -hmm. the company to mm. do that. It's yep. not only just a user clock, they need the AI uh, enabled platform. Correct. So this uh, uh, such a company, they mm -hmm. don't need to set up their own um, uh, infrastructure. Mm -hmm. Just uh, subscribe the our uh, clock platform. On yep. top, they use our, uh, you know, AI enabled the platform for them to do the deployment. Right? Yes, precisely because uh, uh, Having a IoT uh, solutions, basically, there is a lot of things that we have to take in care, like how you basically manage the uh, the security uh, at the each of the edge. That is very complex, and basically, we will provide the IoT platform from our cloud that uh, make you simplify the connectivity that's going to the edge. And then from the edge, once you have the data that's moved back, and uh, that is the part that we help you to do the ingestions to the uh, big data or into like uh, applications and then from there you can do further processing and we further simplify it by integrating this all these uh, Huawei cloud services together so that it's just about a few more clicks right then you can provision the uh, services yeah. mm. so on top of this uh, uh, cloud platform actually uh -huh. Huawei also developed the IoT platform mm -hmm. we call Dayu yep. uh, so this uh, platform actually to uh, each customer's job become uh, um, uh, more easy. Mm. They just uh, um, um, connect the devices mm -hmm. going to the edge uh, environment. Mm -hmm. yep. So such a customer they actually they need the edge uh, cloud mm, yep. near to the devices. They yep. also need the central cloud to yep. do the uh, um, you know data analysis to yep. give the more intelligent information to the uh, uh, knowledge to the machine so yep. train the machine become smarter right yeah, exactly yeah. exactly so this uh, Dayu platform is uh, really um, on time mm -hmm. to de deliver so uh, IoT customer they, they, they no need to um, um, develop everything starting from uh, scratch exactly so they can subscribe such a service deploy it Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what you just emphasized about Da Yu platform, that, that is basically a very important one. Particularly when it comes to the, uh, the massive data inputting into the, uh, the whether it's the data, uh, big data or data lake, right? The, the, we, we must have a way to basically managing to the data in a way to give a cleansing for the data so that the data is coming, is complete, is timeless. It's accurate, it's validated, and this is basically providing by the Da Yu uh, yeah. uh, platform. Uh, yeah. Data collection, mm. just the first step. Mm -hmm. Data analysis, that is uh, very important. Yeah, yeah, the key things. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. in summary, uh, mm -hmm. for the IoT uh, type customer, they, uh, we are not only provide the uh, cloud platform, we also have IoT platform, mm -hmm. right? 
so make customer job become uh, easy mm -hmm. and the integration uh, not so difficult right and then straight away zoom into the solutions yeah, synergize from the edge to the central clock so that the customer they have a different choice deploy their uh, devices yep thank that's you good. thank you We come to the enterprise applications uh, section track. Uh, this is a very important thing to an organization, particularly to a big organizations, because uh, coming from the uh, industrialization 3.0, right? IT already become uh, the stoner stone, the cornerstone to basically to help the company to position themselves to the next level. And now we are in uh, industrializations of 4.0. So EA, enterprise architecture, enterprise application has become more and more important because uh, that is basically you have to understand what is yourself first and then you bring in AI that AI will basically give you the ability to turn you into a smarter organization. And for that, right, uh, a lot of business basically looking into like how they can automatically acquire this kind of like AI capability and uh, to acquire the big data capabilities and also at the same time right looking into how to simplify the day-to-day -day operations that talking about backup restorations uh, even supporting the employee uh, yeah. in terms of a mobile uh, office right yeah so uh, you know during the COVID-19 mm -hmm. um, everybody work from home right exactly so they uh there is a key for the uh, employee is more challenges. Mm -hmm. So they need the mobile office. Exactly. They need the um, uh, software for them to collaborate mm. uh, between the employee, yeah. between the you know uh, um, meeting with the customer. Yep. So the web conference mm -hmm. become um, very popular. Exactly. Very often, right. Yeah. Yeah. So mm -hmm. in the past. Um, they need to set up their own data center by mm -hmm. the server, right? Yep. Now they just uh, they become easy, right? Exactly. So, yeah. Everything can get from the cloud. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, anytime. Subscribe some of our basic service. Uh -huh. Not only that, we mm -hmm. also have you know uh, cater for um, uh, uh, enterprise intelligence, mm -hmm. such uh, um, uh, application software for them to subscribe, like you know Huawei Idea mm -hmm. Hub. Yeah. Customer, customer just buy a uh, idea hub, mm -hmm. then subscribe the cloud services. Mm -hmm. They can do the communication become so much easy, right? Exactly, exactly. And uh, from the idea hub itself, right? Uh, we are not talking about just uh, ease to ease the collaborations, but it's also about how basically that can be extended into the business. And then from the business perspective, right? Uh, the idea hubs can be like connected with the uh, the video streaming and to some AI uh, application like uh, facial recognitions and then uh, from content modulations, video streaming. Yeah. Uh, these are the area that a uh, uh, company can leverage and then to improve their productivity further from there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you, uh, you know, uh, take the scenario, uh, the employee work from home, mm -hmm. they, they uh, need to submit uh, some document. Mm -hmm. So this uh, OCR, yeah. You know? mm -hmm. yeah, whether your boss uh, know you are uh, still working or not, so mm -hmm. face recognition. Yeah. Uh, so this uh, uh, E uh, 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 punching the card. Yeah, uh, that's right, attendance. Yeah, yeah. E attendance, yeah. Mm -hmm. This uh, EA solution mm -hmm. actually for, for us, uh, we are certified Elastic mm -hmm. and of course uh, Huawei uh, Richful uh, Network Resources to make the uh, data transmit mm -hmm. uh, faster. Yeah, and more importantly is basically we are not really sharing about a solution that nobody is using. We are using it our own today, yes. yeah. So, so it's proven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, just uh, add on one more. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, most of customer use uh, SAP, um, you know, this uh, mm -hmm. ERP services for Huawei. We are fully certified mm -hmm. ERP solution mm -hmm. from the server storage network, mm -hmm. include the cloud, Huawei cloud. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. That's right. So that makes a uh, SAP migrate to cloud really a seamless uh, experience because we are certified by SAP itself. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to subscribe Huawei cloud. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you guys on your brilliant tech talks. 
You may click the heart buttons on the screen if you have learned some useful stuff from the last sessions. And if you would like to learn more about Huawei Cloud, scan the QR code to check out our website and explore more. Okay, here is our next session. Please welcome the speakers from our partner BigMind, Mr. Mark Mooney, the COO of BigMind. Over to you, Mark. Welcome to this session for the New Year Cloud Festival. Today we're going to be talking about accelerating your cloud native journey uh, with Highway Cloud. My name is Mark Mooney, CEO of BigMind, a cloud native specialist based here in Singapore. Why is cloud native critical to your organization? Cloud native is critical ensuring that you can meet customer expectations, business demands, and to, do these, and to do these by delivering value faster at a greater frequency. This is the expectations organizations have today. Looking at the customer and technology trends that are happening at the moment, the optimization of legacy applications is on a downward trajectory. It is forecasted by 2030, the investment in cloud native applications will exceed that of traditional. One of the technologies leading the Cloud native drive is containerization. In the last number of years, there has been a, a 2x explosion in the number of large scale clusters being deployed to production environments. There is also 76% of IT leaders rank containerization as critical to their efforts. This means being able to support cloud native also means to be able to work on platforms and have platforms that will accelerate containerization as well. What difference does it make? The traditional approach has been always been focused on longevity and, st and stability. The development methods have been started with waterfall, moving towards the hybrid agile approach. Teams have always been isolated, separated from development into operations, into, into QA teams. Cycles have been long, thus slowing down the innovation path. With cloud native, the focus is now speed to, speed to market. The development methodologies have now switched greatly towards full agile development along with DevOps centric approaches. This is a far more collaborative approach throughout the whole teams, whether it is operations, development and, qu and quality. The cycles now are short and continuous allowing to much faster innovation and feedback from the customers. The infrastructure being utilized in the traditional approach was very much server-centric and designed for on-premise. With Cloud Native, this has become a very much a container-centric approach designed for distributed and on-premise and, and cloud infrastructures, which scales uh, horizontally depending on the uh, capacity and demand. There are challenges that come with all technology shifts. Cloud Native is not excluded from this. Some of the biggest have been in resources, security, and traditional development practices. We need to work with teams to make sure that they, can, they adopt the right approaches in their development. We need to ensure that we can provide knowledge and resources to teams to understand the new approaches to Cloud Native. And we also need to look at the security aspects uh, when developing apps uh, from a containerization and cloud native approach. Highway Cloud has been leading the way on cloud native technologies. It has become the first among Chinese vendors in the China container market. In 2019, Highway Cloud released the industry's first hybrid cloud container solution to help enterprises better solve cross-cloud service scaling, traffic governance, unified monitoring, and O&M problems. The multi-cloud container platform has been developed by Highway Cloud based on years of experience in the cloud container field and community advanced cluster federation technologies. It provides multi-cloud and hybrid cloud containerized solutions for unified cluster management across clouds. Powered by service mesh capabilities, MCP also allows you to manage all of your application traffic. 
CCE is an enterprise class container platform based on Kubernetes and Docker, featuring high availability and high performance. CCE has been widely used in the internet, finance, government and enterprise sectors. Its high performance helps internet companies cope with data bursts and large scale demand. Its high availability ensures that services in the financial industry can run more securely. BigMind partners with Highway Cloud to make cloud native possible. We provide cloud native software tools and services to enable customers jumpstart and accelerate their cloud native journey. Our key offerings include zero cost acceleration sessions to help kickstart cloud native in your organization, discovery workshops to help your teams gain hands-on knowledge and experience of platforms such as CCE, consulting and resource augmentation to bridge gaps in architecture and development, and software that simplifies cloud native implementation and operation. If your team is just starting out with CCE or other cloud native projects, we have a free half day acceleration session that can be used to help you align and activate your stakeholders. These are run by our experienced team. Discovery workshops are hands-on technology sessions that are more in-depth and allow your team time to discuss possible challenges and solutions. These sessions result in clear cloud-native action plans. Along with Discovery workshops, we provide a number of pre-packaged, tailor-made resource augmentation engagements. These engagements are tailor-made for Highway Cloud Services and range from setting up your Kubernetes platform and CCE, app migration to these platforms, and infrastructure migrations. They also can allow your teams to produce POCs on the new platforms or, or look at technical spikes where required. To help you get started on Highway Cloud, we provide a range of short technical engagements. These range from workshops to setting up CCE, infrastructure migration, and modernization and migration of traditional apps to CCE. BigMind also has cloud native software tools. Cape radically simplifies Kubernetes app deployment, data management, and disaster recovery across clusters and platforms. With one click, Cape automates and simplifies Kubernetes application management from months to minutes. Cape works in conjunction with CCE to enable your entire Kubernetes toolchain. Simplifying well-known Kubernetes pain points when it comes to deployment and delivery. With Cape, you get advanced Kubernetes multi-cluster, multi-cloud functionalities through an intuitive interface with simplified workflows. To learn more about BigMind and Cape, please visit our websites. I'm excited BigMind is part of the Highway Cloud SME Support Program and the 2021 New Year Cloud Festival. If you're kickstarting cloud native initiatives this new year, book a free half day acceleration session through our commercial team or via the QR code. Scan this QR code to learn more about our partnership with Highway Cloud on accelerating application development for SMEs. Thank you. Thank you, Mark, for the presentations. If you want to know about Cloud Native and Huawei Cloud CCE, scan the QR code and check out our New Year Cloud Festival special for CCE products and services. Thank you for joining us today. We wish to see you again on 26th of March, 2021. Have a good day.